All right, it is Tuesday, January 9th. Um, I have been mapping mobile using the Helium network for 18 days now, uh, using my iPhone 11 Pro, um, using the eSIM for the Helium network, and my main SIM still as T-Mobile. Um, and I just wanted to give everyone an update on how much I've made in re mobile rewards, um, how the mobile reward system works, what the requirements are in order to get rewards every single day, um, how many rewards you'll get every day, uh, talk a little bit about why the rewards are going down, um, and just kind of overall what I've been doing in order to earn those rewards or not earn those rewards. Um, so the first thing that I see a lot of people confused about is the requirements for earning rewards. Um, so essentially you're, you're helping Helium to map their network to kind of see where they have coverage, where they don't, uh, where their customers and their subscriber base are using their network and probably a whole host of other data points that I'm not really sure of. Um, but essentially, in return for allowing your phone to use the, your location and send that data back to the Helium uh, Alliance or whatever it's called, uh, they give you mobile tokens as a reward. Now, in order to receive or be eligible for those rewards, you have to meet um, two, essentially, two requirements. And this is where a lot of people are confused. So you have to have a minimum of five mapping events within two different non-consecutive hours, which means essentially if you leave the house in the morning and say you drive to work, um, your drive to work takes you 15, 20 minutes, maybe an hour or whatever, there's a good chance you're going to get um, five mapping events within that, you know, we'll say hour driving to work. And then you stay at work for more than an hour, um, probably a few hours, I would guess, until your lunch, and then you go out again. You're going to get more mapping events then. So you should be fine um, as long as those two hours aren't consecutive. Like, they don't back up to each other. So you get five mapping events in hour one, don't do anything for hour two, three, four, and then get five more mapping events in hour five. Uh, as long as that falls within the same day um, where the rewards are being paid out. So a lot of people think that the amount of events that you hit will somehow have uh, changed the amount of rewards you get. Not the case. Um, everybody gets the same amount of award, uh, rewards as long as you hit the mapping event requirement, which is that five mapping events in two non-consecutive hours. So essentially don't drive around all day for eight hours or whatever with mapping turned on and think that you're going to get rewards. You've got to break it up. So usually driving to work or school or whatever in the morning, hanging out somewhere, uh, for a few hours and then driving somewhere else will net you the amount you need for rewards. Uh, as long as you live in an area that pings enough location data for Helium. I'm not really sure what it's pinging, if it's pinging cell towers, if it's pinging Helium um, 5G miners or access points or what, but five usually isn't an issue for me to hit. Uh, I live in a fairly populated suburb uh, of a big city so I have had no issues hitting the requirements just from driving my kids to school in the morning which is literally like five houses down the street uh, and then driving back or driving to one of their activities and then driving back you know after a couple hours or, or whatever it is so that is how the reward system works um, now, the amount of rewards that you're going to get is going to decrease the more subscribers are on the Helium network. So let's take a look at um, my screen real quick and I'll show you this website. So this is heliumgeek.com. 
and this shows you how many people you can see right here this is how many people are subscribed to the mobile network and obviously this was beta and then it shot up once they launched uh nationally and then this is the reward mobile rewards that people get if they hit the requirements so as this number goes up you can see it directly correlates to these reward numbers going down and as of yesterday it was about 11.33 now this will continue to go down as more subscribers sign up. So if you're looking to get in on this and get m the most mobile tokens that you can um, while mining, mapping with your phone, get in now. Um, I'll put a referral link in the description. Use it if you want, doesn't matter. Um, you'll get an extra $5 credit towards your account and I'll get a $5 credit towards mine. But even if you don't, and you want to get in on this and you want to get in on the mapping just go to their website now and sign up so that you can get the most rewards possible now let's take a look at uh, how much i have earned so far in rewards and starting like i said it's about 18 days so i started on the 22nd and today is the 8th here you can see this is the exact amount of mobile rewards that i received on each day uh, as you can see back here 18 days ago it was over 2000 2400 and now we're down to 1133 because more people have signed up for the uh for the network um i saw some people like i said some people said that you know they had to hit certain mapping events like one guy i think i saw on reddit said like you need a minimum of 600 mapping events it's like no you could literally get the rewards with 10 mapping events as long as the five are in one hour and then the other five are in another non-consecutive hour um so the number of mapping events really doesn't matter as long as it's over five and it will not net you any more rewards than anybody else so if you get 10 mapping events and get the rewards you're getting the same amount of mapping re rewards or mobile rewards as if someone who mapped um 600 events so that's not ma gonna matter um this is the price of mobile each day it's been consistent it's gone down a little bit here uh, in the last couple days today it's actually spiking up a little bit so i'm hoping that trend continues but who knows here are the prices uh had i sold mobile on that particular day this is what i would have made um this here is the total that i've made so far if i would have sold on that day i have not sold any mobile um so this price is a little inaccurate um but this is about the amount of mobile that i have and then this is obviously what I paid for the service. It's about twenty-one seventy-eight or something after taxes and stuff. Um, and then until profitable, I'm obviously, you know, about $55 profitable already. Uh, if I were to take these mobile coins, sell them and use them to pay the bill. But I plan on holding the mobile coins and either holding them as mobile, probably I might convert some of them to Solana, um, but I also have a mobile IoT helium miner that mines IoT, so I might swap those instead. We'll see. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just kind of holding all of this helium network coins for now. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got. If you have any questions about how the reward system works, um, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it. I am not an expert on this by any means i'm just kind of showing you my experience with uh the whole process and how the mobile reward system works and what i've found to work um you can see on this that i've had days where zero uh zero rewards but it's because i haven't left the house or i only left the house once um like my kids were on winter break uh and all that stuff so like there were some days where we would you know go out in the morning um just to pick up food or something and then come back and we wouldn't leave the house because uh, the weather was bad or whatever so i haven't gotten rewards every day uh which is totally fine i'm not trying to game the system and get as many rewards as i can i'm trying to show people real world examples of what you can expect just by going about your daily life and not trying to you know get as many rewards as possible sure i could you know drive around the block uh, a couple times a day if I really wanted to, you know, get these zero days up to the mapping events so that I get rewards, but I don't. At this point, 
now that the kids are back in school, I could probably say pretty confidently that I will be getting rewards every single day. Uh, maybe not some Sundays or something if I'm, you know, just laying around. But uh, for the most part, I should be getting these rewards on a regular basis just from driving my kids around the block to school and picking them up in the afternoon. So again, uh, referral code in the description that will get you five bucks credit on your next cell phone bill through Helium. Uh, it'll also give me five bucks, so I appreciate anybody that clicks that. Uh, and if you want to stay up on the mobile content and the Helium content and stuff that I'm posting, make sure you subscribe to the video. Uh, I'll try to do these updates every every few weeks to make uh, to give people an idea of how well I am doing. All right, we'll see you next time.